Glad to be back with you on another edition of you and the economy. I am boasting the most you will thank you for finding time to join us once again. Let's continue our discussion on microfinance policy that the central bank is rolling out. Now the search for a development strategy that could bring about significant improvement in the social economic conditions of poor households led to the focus on microfinance. The operating assumption of microfinance is that the availability of capital is critical to the efforts at enhancing the income earning capacity of the poor. So microfinance in theory and practice means lending to the poor. The proponents of microfinance say that poor people know what to do, they have some rudimentary skills, and that they remain poor just because they operate from a slim economic base. The answer, they say, is very simple. Provide a well-structured microfinance system primed to deliver affordable and sustainable financial services that is appropriate technology and capacity building resources. That is the background to the microfinance policy and regulatory framework launched on the 15th of December 2005. We'll expand on that after the break. Carpenter, mechanic, tailor, hairdresser. Do you want to start or expand your micro, small, or medium scale enterprise? It is now easy to get loans to start or expand your existing business. The Central Bank of Nigeria has commenced licensing of microfinance banks to help you mobilize money to start or grow your business. Microfinance banks are where you can save, grow, make payment transfers within the country, and enjoy many other financial services for your business. Microfinance banks are to provide financial services to the economically active poor and low income earners to own and expand their small, micro and medium enterprises. Visit any of the microfinance banks nearest to you today. Your deposits are safe as the bank's deposits are fully insured by the NDIC and the bank's operations are under the supervision and regulation of the Central Bank of Nigeria. For more information on microfinance banks, visit any of the nearest CBN offices or visit the CBN website www.centbank.org. This message is brought to you by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Until now, the bulk of microfinance services in Nigeria have been provided by community banks and non-governmental organizations, simply known as NGOs. These institutions were not licensed as commercial banks and therefore outside the supervisory purview of the Central Bank of Nigeria, nor were their savings and deposits guaranteed by the Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, the NDIC. These, among other factors, created a number of anomalies which the microfinance policy seeks to address. Under this new policy, community banks and NGO microfinance institutions, known as MFIs, are actively encouraged to convert and be licensed to operate as microfinance banks. We immediately set out to roll out the procedures for the conversion, especially the, you know, the existing community banks to microfinance banks. And I'm glad to say that so far we found about, um, you know, about 10 of them that have been fully converted. We have around 125 that have been given professional approval to convert. Um, we are hoping that by the end of December 31st of this year, that uh, between 400 and 500 of them will have migrated from being a community bank to microfinance banks. Also, since then, we've also been able to uh, launch series of campaigns in terms of, you know, uh, guidance, in terms of trying to, you know, mentor these community banks so as to facilitate their conversion. Uh, we've also been able to you know, get the management of the bank, the Central Bank of Nigeria, to secure some waivers for them in terms of application fees, in terms of you know, uh, renewal fees, change of name fees, and so forth, and so forth. And we also approached um, the uh, Corporate Affairs Commission, and they have also granted a 50% reduction for them in terms of the filing you know, requirements that they need to do. Um, we've also been able to also come up only last week, the management of Central Bank of Nigeria 
has approved the setting up of the certification program for the community banks. This certification program is a kind of a training body um, that will um, that will you know address the issue of capacity you know for the industry. Uh, as you know, the policy requires all the managers, key managers of microfinance banks, to undertake this examination process uh, between now and in another three years, you know, to enable them to manage those uh, organizations uh, very well. Well, I think it is quite good. I mean, when you look at the conventional banks, if you would permit me to say, you would discover that um, at the ability to get to the grassroots has been a little bit difficult for them. But with the microfinance bank, it is an opportunity for us to be able to alleviate poverty from the roof. In other words, get into the locality, the community, and then of course the system management as well. Um, in order for you to be able to approve a loan, most of these conventional banks have the headquarters, whether in Abuja or Lagos. But if it is locally done, it could take just one, just one day, even half a day. But this will take months and days and weeks. So I believe there is an uh, this is a system of policy that will really energize and synergize the economic growth of Nigeria. My people, at your rest a lot too. Eh, on a miss to change on old Naira note with new one before May 31st, eh, no worry. He gets two chance to take still do amo. One, carry your old Naira note, 50 Naira note, 20 Naira note, 10 Naira note, 5 Naira note, and coins, go deposit for your bank account. Two, carry your old Naira note, go any bank when you pass, give them, they will give you the new cha-cha ones one time. Remember, see, our night and our identity will handle them well, well. This message now from the Central Bank of Nigeria. The new microfinance policy rolled out in 2005 enumerates a number of strategies to achieve its goals. These, amongst others, include license and regulate the establishment of microfinance banks, promote the participation of governments in the microfinance industry by encouraging state and local governments to devote at least 1% of their annual budgets to microfinance initiatives administered through microfinance banks. And third, promote sound microfinance practice by advocating professionalism, transparency and good governance in microfinance institutions. And of course, mobilize domestic savings and promote the banking culture among low-income groups. The policy stipulates two categories of microfinance banks. The first, microfinance banks licensed to operate as a unit bank. And second, microfinance banks licensed to operate in a state.